Uh, Phil, obviously, you know, tough loss tonight. What does the team need to do better to win these type of games? Uh, quit beating ourselves. I mean, that game. We win that game several different ways if we don't beat ourselves mentally. We had two guys. I mean, we had a couple of their guys in the pickle on the bases. We don't get it out. You know, Buckner could have ran, hit a guy at second, and a guy caught between second and third. We could have run one of them back, and then we don't, which is fine. And we still have a chance to make a play in a rundown. We throw the ball off a guy's back. I mean, after that happened, those two runs scored uh, on a single. And then uh, in the ninth inning there, after you we battle back. Blake hits a big home run. We do everything we can uh, to put our, set ourselves up to win. You know, there was a free out on a bunt, and we don't get it. And uh, that was honestly that was the difference to me. Uh, you know, could we have pitched that guy, the last guy that got the single, a little better, maybe? But I, I thought it was great at bat by him, and great. There's some good pitches made that he fouled off. You know, and he won the battle there. But we don't even get to that point if we get a bunt play down and throw a guy out of first base. Uh, that guy probably doesn't hit. The guy that made the last out probably is up there because we walked that guy, the bases are loaded. Who knows what happens, but it puts the odds in our favor a little better. So, uh, you know, majority of the close games we've lost this year, if you really break them down and look at everything, it's been errors and free stuff that we've given the other team. And uh, when, when you're in a one-run game, a two-run game, that can be all the difference in the world. And you saw it again tonight. And what do you attribute those errors and mistakes to just a lack of focus? I'll say focus, but you know, I'm just going to go lack of confidence and at times lack of communication. I mean, there's absolutely zero excuse for that guy that bunted the ball, a pair who bunted the ball in the ninth, to be safe at first base. You know, there's no. There's no urgency. We don't have we don't have a bunt play on to make sure we get the guy at third base. It's a standard setup to get an out. We still have options. Uh, you know that's lack of execution right there, uh, and lack of communication. I couldn't hear anyone saying one when that play happened, and I was 40 feet from it. I should have heard three or four guys yelling one. Should have heard bench yelling one, uh, but it didn't happen. Uh, you know the, the the rundown play tonight, for example. Buckner knows what he did wrong. You know, he turned and fired right away. That's instinct. Uh, not necessarily his fault, but we're professional baseball players. Once the ball's in Chavaria's hand and the, and the rundown starts, that's got to be executed. You have a free out, and we don't establish a lane. We throw the ball right in the guy's back. He's safe in second, safe in third. Next guy hits a single. And we're out of that inning without that. Uh, so some of it's execution, some of it's, you know, seeing a play or you know anticipation whatever whatever words you want to use you know the bottom line is you got to get your job done and uh, those little things make all the difference in the world over the course of nine innings and uh, you know it, it's just the story of our season so far in the close game the team did battle back from being down four nothing come up top five to four and then had some runners on in the ninth were you impressed with the fight this is yeah i've never you know effort is never Question by me, or hasn't been yet, uh, with these guys. There's, the potential's there. We put ourselves in those situations long enough. Guys like Blake are going to come through like that. You know, the guys that got on before him, we, we got to tip our hat to them, to them too. You know, uh, I'm not surprised by that. I'm not surprised how we came back and the ability to come back. You know, it's the ability to finish is where we're lacking. Whether it's the closer, whether it's the eighth inning guy, whether it's the defense, whatever it is. Uh, you know, that, that's where we're lacking. So I, I'm very proud of the guys. Nobody quit. I've never seen anyone quit thus far. Uh, you know, and I respect that and appreciate that and love these guys for that. But the bottom line is get the job done. Finish it off. That's why you play nine innings. You know, we, uh, we didn't quit. We got to one of their main guys in the back end of their bullpen, put, our, put the game in our favor, and we weren't able to close it out. Like Chuck Weaver, their starting pitcher, was pitching pretty well uh, tonight. Then once you got to the bullpen, did it give you more confidence once you got past the move? Uh, I thought, honestly, I thought everybody kind of saw Weaver pretty well. We put some good at-bats together, uh, took some tough pitches uh, that we all thought were balls but were being called strikes, and uh, you have to adjust to that. But once we got to the pen, uh, 
usually those guys, they want to come right at you. So I'm always confident in uh, our hitters to attack because we are, I feel like we're an aggressive team. So being able to attack and knowing that they're going to throw strikes is always a benefit. So once we get to the pin, I, I don't want to say I get confident that we're going to put some runs on the board or anything like that, but I'm confident that we're going to put the ball in play and just give ourselves a chance. And after the first home stand against Rockford, you hit the ball pretty well. What's your approach been like? Uh, I honestly couldn't tell you. I'm just trying to be easy and just let my game play out the way it is. Uh, honestly, that first home stand, I was I was pretty nervous, pretty anxious, just trying too much, trying too hard, trying to impress everybody. Prove, you know, just as a new guy, trying to prove why you're here and all that, all things like that. And, after that, I just had to settle down. Going home to normal Illinois was honestly a big help because I was able to just relax and just be myself. And so basically, that's what I'm doing now. I'm just trying to play the game that God's given me the ability to play. Let, let, let it happen. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you, Blake.